Hello, gorgeous spiritual events directory. Hi, it's Jo here and I'm tuning in for you guys for this beautiful Soulful Sunday session, your weekly chance to connect with me, to connect with you, <laughs> release the week that was or the day that was and um, just take a moment to drop in and set a gorgeous intention for the week ahead. So once you're jumping on, say hello, let me know who you are, where you're from and how you're feeling right now. How are you feeling? Give me a sentence, give me one word. I just want to hear how you were going. For me, I am I'm feeling very bubbly right now. I've just had a very beautiful day with some of my soul sisters just enjoying the sunshine, a little bit of the wind, um, at a gorgeous picnic. So something that um, you guys probably don't know about me is in addition to showing up every Sunday to help you release and set intentions for the week that he ahead, um, I'm actually a Reiki master and aromatherapy massage giver. <laughs> um, and I also run a lot of bespoke retreats and goddess circles. So I'm actually going through a 10 week goddess women's mindset process at the moment and we're halfway through. So we just had a beautiful picnic today to really honor that. And um, in a couple of weeks, we have a retreat, which I'm so excited from. Hi, Kerry. You're feeling a little flat today. Well, hopefully we, we might be able to get just a little bit of energy bubbling through, going through another dark night of the soul. And they are powerful periods of time to be in uh, as part of your journey. And um, the light, once you get able to come through into the light, you will have so much gratitude for the lessons that you've learned. Hello, Wendy from Brisbane. Yes, I'm a Brisbane girl here too. I'm the north side. Um, hi, Claire. I'm not doing card pulls today. I am all about talking to you about your week, <laughs> now, setting, helping you um, find and use some tools that you can use to set some beautiful intentions for the week ahead. But you can also use them um, as you take them day by day, moment to moment as well. Um, and movement. Those of you who've come back week after week after week, we know you know that these soulful Sundays are all about movement right? So have to actually activate the vessel, right? A lot of us um, forget when we're on a spiritual journey that it's, it's not just love and light. It's not just heart, right? And, and connection. It's actually also about this vessel that actually has to take the action to make the dreams manifest, okay? So um, you may have heard me speak that I'm more of a, a, a cheek to cheek, right? We re really need to connect in with our body and drive so much of our selves into ourselves and allow that to create some beautiful um, shifts for us. So I'm just so, all the comments are here. Hello, hello. Mwilimba, New South Wales. That is a beautiful area of the world to be in. And I'm often there in October, hopefully. Unlikely, but I'd like to get back there this year. Hello, Michelle from Melbourne. Hello, Kylie. Hello, Helen. Hello, Belinda. Hello, Casey, Amanda, Wendy. Um... Matthew, lovely to see you here. Strong last couple of weeks. Yes, dancing in the dark. Beautiful, beautiful. And Michelle, it looks like as well. Hello, Sue from Rockhampton. Guys, as you're jumping in, and even if you're catching the replay, hashtag replay, let me know where you're coming in from and let me know how you are feeling in this moment. I'm loving all the hearts that are coming up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Love to you as well. We have had a big week. Did you guys know that there was the new moon on Wednesday? And it was a new moon in Leo, right? So it can be a lot. Um, uh, some of you may have taken a confidence hit, right? Maybe you had been streaming long, feeling really courageous and confident. And it's like this like big energy zap came and kind of kicked you on your butt, right? Hands up who, <laughs> who's resonating with that. Maybe you were um, trying to gear towards a new project, a shift in something, um, trying to move through a transition and it felt like 
you've been taking two or three steps forward and all of a sudden it was five steps back, right? So the new moon um, can, yes, Michelle can resonate, definitely. The new moon throws us into darkness, but it is beautiful and it's a beautiful place to be in if you allow it and if you choose it to be beautiful because it's where we get to plant the seeds, right? Just because it looks dark, just because it doesn't feel like or we think, right? The, just because the egoic mind is telling us that we're not doing anything, we're not making momentum, that we're, um, we're failing or we're fizzling out is not the truth. Not at all. If we allow ourselves to actually work with the energy that we're in, in something like a new moon, we can understand that what we're actually are in is a planting point. It's a time to actually plant the seeds. So if you've been going gangbusters, if you've been working towards a goal, if you've been making some changes in as part of a transition and it feels like things aren't going the way you want them to anymore, it's not a, okay, let's push, push, push. It's, all right, let's just back off. Let's realign the focus a little bit. Let's make sure that the seeds that we have planted here are actually the seeds we want. If we're growing a veggie garden, why the hell would we want tulips growing there, right? So really to making sure that what we are doing and the actions that we're taking are the seeds that are going to bring us all that we desire. And that's what the gorgeous new moon energy brings for us is that recognition and celebration of the darkness of the seeds so that we can work on the on the nourishment. We can make sure that the seeds are what we want, where we want them, and we can nourish them and love them, love them, love them. Um, <clears throat> uh, Michelle's feeling like there's a knot in her stomach. And actually, I'm glad that you bring that up because I have a feeling like tonight needs to be a little bit of a chat about the assimilation center of our lives, a, a chat about the belly, the digestive system. And I'm like not in a good position, but my, there's mine. <laughs> I'll show you my belly button. No, I won't. Um, so we're, this is the area where it can often speak to us um, in relation to how we're nourishing ourselves. And yes, that can mean food and water, right? But we, how do we nourish the, the mind, body and spirit? The physical spaces that we occupy, right? The people that we allow our time to be spent with, the, the places that we're working, the places that we're sleeping, the people that we're hanging out with, right? Are they nourishing us? Are they giving us enough of that clean energy that makes us feel vibrant and energized and that we can actually leave those situations feeling more connected to who we are? Or are they providing us toxic situations which um, drain us and make us question what the hell we're doing? So if there are feelings like you're being stuck, that there are some digestive issues in the stomach, maybe there's some anxiety that's um, communicating to you through the stomach, right? It can be a really powerful question to ask yourself, Okay, how am I nourishing myself? And there is so many areas to look at. Well, not so many, but you, you look at the physical environment, your health and vitality. You look at your, um, your, your relationships, right? You look at how your, how your money story is going as well. There's all these different um, areas and pillars of your life that you can look at and go, how am I actually nourishing myself and my whole self, the mind, body, and spirit? Hello, Matthew from the Louisiana area. Beautiful. Thank you for being here. Oh, no, thank you. I love my vibe too. <laughs> um, yes, Wendy, we all need positive energy right now, most definitely. So you'll see actually that I'm wearing the color yellow or mustard, if I'm to be technical right now. And this is actually quite intentional. This is a color that I have been wearing today and a few times over the past week because it, rel it relates to the solar plexus. It relates to this area of our body that is the assimilation. It is the digestive. It is the, the nourishment, but it's the nourishment of the courage and the confidence, the nourishment of our light, of our unique truth and who we are, right? And if we think about how the chakras um, are positioned in the body, we've got the the base chakra, which is very much the foundation, the, the where we are and the security that we feel there, okay? And then we come up to the solar plexus, which is through the womb space, through the through the hips and the reproductive area, okay? And that starts to look at, okay, well, we know who where we are and who are we while we are there, right? What is our... Who, our 
what areas um, can we link our sense of self-worth to, right? Who are we when we strip away the limitations, the beliefs, the, the false um, reasoning of who we are? So this, that womb space becomes the, um, a bit more about the identity. And once we've figured out kind of where we are and who we are, well, we don't want to sit around at home and just go, cool, yeah, well, I know who I am and just check ourselves out in the mirror all the time. We want to step out and be seen and, and allow the world to get to know us as well and shine our light. And so the solar plexus is something that I often visualize as our internal sun. Okay, it is our radiance and our vibration, so our vibrancy that we can actually step forward and put out there. So if you've been feeling knots in the stomach, if you've been feeling um, a bit stuck, some digestive issues, also look at the way you're holding your body. There is no separation between the mind, body and spirit. You will always present as a whole self version of yourself, but you may not be... Um, fully aware of the way the whole self communicates. You might be just aware of one or two things, right? The body and how it's feeling is how it can connect, it communicates with you. Your body, your body never punishes you. It only communicates with you, okay? And it can communicate with you about what's going on in the now. It can communicate with you about what is kind of coming with you. Maybe there's some cords attached to you as well and you can go and work with... Um, Reiki masters like myself, you can work with other energy healers to help with breaking and detaching from those etheric cords. But at the crux of it all, right, if you are feeling discomfort in your in your abdomen or any area in your body, there will be a reason for it. And when it comes to the abdomen, look at how you're holding yourself. Are you sitting and, and crunching over a lot, right? Or are you standing and giving that the space to open up for that light to actually be signed? If you imagine that there is a sun there, right? Just visualize, close your eyes down for a moment and visualize a sun in the center, just below your rib cage. And if you were to bend over and, and protect it, right? You, no one can see it. You can't even see it yourself. So all of a sudden you have this energy that wants to, to radiate and burn and it's got nothing to do and it's feeling like a lack of purpose, right? And so it's kind of just coming dormant energy and it's and it's not creating the energy and it's not giving the digestive system what it needs to to work out right so if you just spend more time bringing that openness and i love the way that openness through the abdomen promotes openness through the chest as well it's like you allow yourself to be seen and your heart is seen as well, okay? So this whole upper torso openness. And you, every time you just catch yourself hunching over, just pull it up, right? It's just a posture thing. And you bring alignment through your whole body when you do that as well. Things open up and they feel more comfortable, all right? So, so yeah, spend more time like that and do some exercises, just gentle stretches where you can kind of, just bring that expansive space through there. Hi, Ruth. I'm happy to see you too. <laughs> oh, I love that you're loving this insight tonight, Matthew. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and Michelle, yes, you're crunchy. So yeah, you know, there, like I said, there is no separation between the mind, body and spirit. So when you've been feeling stuck, right? And your digestive system is playing up and you feel like you've got knots in your stomach and you're noticing how you hold your body, right? There's, it's, there is no separation. It is all one, right? But we don't have to know all of it. We just have to go, oh, I'm feeling this. Okay, so let me just bring some openness to that. I'm feeling stuck. So let's bring some openness to that, okay? Um, sorry, guys, you guys are just awesome tonight. I absolutely love all this interaction. Um, so, yeah, being more open would be really, really, really positive if you've been feeling... Um, any stagnation through the body and something that I love to do right that a lot of you who have joined with me hi Robin I'm really well thanks for joining in hey Danny oh, I'm so glad that you're here you're I get to be part of your 14 days that you're experiencing right now um, I love the spiral okay so if you are experiencing being stuck whatever that means for you. The symbol of the spiral is a symbol of movement, right? And you could just 
doodle them on paper all the time. You can do them with, I love to do them with the body, right? So this is why I absolutely love, 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 love bringing movement into everything I do. It is why I set my <laughs> clients homework all the time because I can drop into some um, powerful insight for them. But if they just grab the insight and go home and back to normal life, they're not working on the shifts that we've already created together during a session. OK, so if they can leave and take with them some homework that is based on movement, then their body gets to, gets to keep experiencing the shifts and the changes until we get to connect again and so I would encourage you if you're uh, if you're resonating with some of these things I'm mentioning tonight is to bring that spiral into the body right and it could be like your hand it could be your leg I would encourage you to make it your hips and your torso all right so just standing where you are now and just feeling that spiral going you could start with your legs together and do little ones right and then I would encourage you to even go further so separate the legs and just see how wide you can go right give your body permission to take up the space it is craving to take up right if you have this internal Sun that's here it doesn't want to be like, oh, hey, yeah, let's just create a little flicker and a little flame. We don't want to like accidentally burn anyone. No, it wants to beam out. It wants to be the light that walks into a room and everyone goes, yeah, they're here. Yay, let's celebrate. They've just arrived here. Allow that to shine. Allow yourself to experience what that's like. So when you're bringing movement through the body, allow it to be as expansive and expressive as it needs to be so that you can start to understand what it feels like to take up the space that you truly deserve to take up. Hello, Dale. Lovely to connect with you here as well tonight. So let's bring some movement in, right, to our beautiful time together. So I'm going to play a song. I'm going to cross my fingers because technology, it generally works out well for me, but I always still have to like hold on. So we're going to um, play this song. If you guys are in my I'm Her um, VIP space, this is the song that we had tonight at our six at six. That's a tongue time. So I basically do this session every night for six minutes in a private VIP group. Um, so, but tonight I'm duplicating because I've got my beautiful spiritual event directory guys here. All right. No, and I just realized it's not going to play the right song. Let's see what comes on. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you can hear this. Can you hear this? In the midst of silent sound, as you search for your answer, no answer has been found. May you stand, stand your ground. And when you come to the table to lay your burdens down, as you wait upon Hi, the weary, for whom no rest was found As you search for to lean on So breathe that no flow through the body May you stand Stand, stand your ground, ground. Be seen, may stand you your ground Stand, stand your ground As you kneel in a garden and no one 
sun is around you. Are you guys dancing with me? As you raise your hands above you, and from your lips cry out, Oh, Father, forgive me, for I could not see through my doubt. May you stand, stand your ground. So that's what I want to play another song and not right now just to make sure it clicks over technology do the right thing <laughs> I think it, all right. yep awesome so that was a beautiful song helping you stand your ground right so as I spoke about just before Right, the when we look at how the chakras are working in the body, right? We have the base, which is grounded. Where am I? And then we come into the who am I? Then we come into the all right, I want to be seen, right? So that was very much a beautiful song about standing your ground, right? Once you stop being the the, the tumbleweed that gets blown around wherever external situations blow you to and you actually come in and say, no, I'm rooting in m myself and what I choose and in who I am and you stand your ground. First of all, you give yourself permission to actually be seen and be felt by yourself, which is the most important thing ever. And then things that don't align melt away which you want even though they might suck sometimes um you ultimately do want those things that don't support your growth to fall away right and as you continue to stand your ground as you continue to say those sacred yeses to you right you will become more connected to those feelings of i am enough i am worthy right i am <laughs> will become like the thing it's it's just simply because i am i am worthy i am more than enough i am capable i'm confident and then we start to come up into the solar plexus into that light to be seen so i'd love for you right now if you're still here with me is to think about the week ahead what is it that you know you need to do to hold that intention of standing your ground and whatever area is coming to mind right now in order to stand your ground, you must blah, put it in the comments below, right? At work, with a friendship, with a relationship, social situation, with a neighbor, with the school kids, I don't know, whatever, right? In order for me to stand my ground, I must blah, okay? Follow that up with, I deserve this because, right? Use these comments. I want to see what's coming through for you guys. And we're going to finish up with a song together to lock in. Beautiful. Slowing down is so important, Paige. Yes. In order to stop being the tumbleweed that goes wherever the wind blows it, you do need to slow down to plant those roots. Being calm. Beautiful. Okay. So once you've slowed down, once the calmness has settled in and you're able to connect with the who you are, the what you are, the why you are, right? What is it that you can do for yourself to allow you at first to see, feel and connect with your light? What can you do this week to honour your light, 
to honour your power. You so need to believe in you, Michelle, and lean on the belief of others to hold you until you can get there to yourself. Yes, Danny, self-nurture is so, so, so important. And in a, in a sense, there has it's been gifted to you, right? Nothing for you to focus on over the next couple of weeks except you, for you. Paige deserves to feel calm for herself and for her baby. Beautiful. Apply your gifts to bring change. Matthew, what are your gifts? Share them with us right here, right now. Michelle, allow myself to be what I'm trying to say. Express it. What is it that you're trying to say? I love it. All right, guys. Let's take a journey, one more journey of movement. And I'll explain to you a little bit more about why I love movement, especially when we're aligning them with an intention. Okay, feel blessed, Danny. Mwah. I love the way that you hold the energy around your situations that, that you're in right now. Lindy Lou, give yourself permission. Yes, beautiful. Yes. No matter what the emotion is, it is an emotion. We are human. We are meant to experience them. Allow yourself to experience it. Because if you can't, or if you try to judge it or hold on to it, it becomes more an identity than an emotion. An emotion is energy in motion. Allow it to be felt and acknowledged so it can finish its transition. It can finish its life cycle, right? So if you've got grief there, the grief comes in and it has a life cycle, giving it permission to experience that so it can go into a death cycle and transition through, right? Allow, always, always, always allow yourself to feel the array of human emotions. It is the gift you can give to yourself as a human, to have a human experience. All right, so when we come into this next song, hold your intention for the week, right? Allow yourself to feel right now what it will feel like the week coming, knowing that this is the intention that you're stepping into every moment of every day as you go, go through the next week, right? Allow your body to feel that. Okay, my intention is calm, still. My intention is allowance, right? What does that feel within me right now? What does it feel like to be calm? Okay, for me, I, there's peace and there's tranquility, for the allowance of whatever needs to come, it feels quite feminine and flowing and free, right? And it's those emotive experiences that are attached with your intention that create your vibration and frequency. That is the language at which you're communicating with the universe that's going to support you and hold you and nurture you in this intention that you have set for yourself, okay? So Matthew, with the listening... um. Uh, seeing reflections in nature, psychological healing, empathy. Beautiful. Those are some incredible gifts that you hold. Allow the world to see those. Trust in them yourselves so that others can trust in your trust or yourself. That's the only thing that we ever really sell, guys. Do you know that? Or when I say sell, I don't mean like even like money, money, money. But um, when we step out into the world and we say, look at me, I'm here. Follow me. Join me. People aren't going, oh, I can see what you do and that looks great. They go, I see how much you are trusting and honoring yourself and I'm going to go with you because I trust in your trust, right? Do you get that? If you don't back yourself, it doesn't matter what it is you do or don't do. It has to be you backing yourself that gets the people. They come for the way you back yourself. They come to trust in your trust, right? If that makes sense. Hello, Maria. Hello, uh, Nam. Namrata, I apologize if I've um, mispronounced that. You definitely don't deserve to have your name mispronounced. So please correct me if, if it's needed to be done. So having your intention for the week, understanding how it's feeling in your body, allow it to kind of have those bubbles through the body, right? And allow that to become the language, the frequency, the vibration that sends that out to the universe and says, this is where we're going, baby, right? 
And now, because you can feel that in your body, and because you're having a, fib um, a vibrational shift in your body by um, examining and paying attention to the, uh, the emotions that are you're feeling through your body, then you are actually having very teeny tiny cellular, cellular movement shift, right? Your frequency and your vibration is changing. Your cells are changing in a different way, which means it's now your invitation to... Hi, Camila. It's now your invitation to take that energy, to take that vibration and frequency of that intention and bring it into some movement. Show your body what it can do and what it's capable of knowing that it's already right now experiencing your intention in full manifestation, right? Okay? And by doing it right now, by allowing this next song to come in and to hold you in this intention and show you that it's already done because you're literally moving in that vibration and frequency right now, it is proof that it can be done. Right? So every time you feel like, oh crap, I've lost it. I lost my way a little bit. Pause, intention, feel, move. Okay? Movement is so powerful. This is the vessel that is going to get shit done. Doesn't matter how much you think about it and meditate on it and positive think on it. This is the thing that's going to get shit done. So let's get it moving. Let's get it understanding. Let's give it some muscle memory to lean back on when we're actually going through our weeks. Are you ready? All right. Technology behave. <laughs> It's a good one. Feel those bubbles. That intention through your body. The power of love is here now. The power of now is here now. The power of you to create magic on earth the power of love is here now the power of now is here now the power of you and me is here to create magic on earth It's gorgeous, isn't it? 
sing those words to yourself. Feel the vibration of those words. Let the water wash away your tears. Let the fire burn away your fears. Let the wind blow into your life. Such faith and trust. Oh, let the earth hold you. Take care of you. Nurture you. trust and technology is growing <laughs> oh guys you are amazing i've had such an incredible time sharing tonight with you it's been an absolutely incredible end to my incredible day and i hope it has brought some beautiful energy through technology to wherever you are in the world right now sending you so much love sending you so much go out there and get the fucking done energy excuse my language sorry mum. but <laughs> just Oh, it's all the week ahead is going to be so juicy and delicious for all of you. I just know it, right? And if you forget for whatever reason, you have the tools right now. You know how to find the intention, feel the vibration, and bring it into movement. It takes three minutes. You are worthy of three minutes daily. Every three minutes, you're worthy of three minutes more. <laughs> I will share those two songs from today. Well, I will share my playlist, um, Soulful Sundays, in the links below, comments below, um, as soon as I jump off. So you can connect into those two songs, but also the entire playlist. We've been doing this for a few weeks now, so you can just come in and just feel the whole energy of the whole weeks we've been sharing together. I am here every single Sunday, 7.15pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. But if you want more of me, if you want to stay in this space, if you want to come into my VIP community, um, let me know. You can connect with me. My page is linked via my name in the comments above you can message message me and say yes get me into the i'm her space i hold this beautiful container it's called i'm her it stands for indulgence movement healing embodiment and raising your vibration helping you grab a hold of the tools and the support that you need to step into the next level version of yourself michelle you're yes 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 beautiful connect right if I try and connect with you, I don't think it works because it's this is the spiritual events directory page. But you find me and I'll be waiting for you. It's been an absolute pleasure, guys. And I will see you again here next week or sooner if you want to come and play with me in the VIP space. Sending you so much love and have an incredible week. Cannot wait to hear about it next Sunday. Bye. <laughs>